Hi, thanks for being here. Today I'll be making pork country style ribs with cabbage and beans over cornbread. Of course, this is my Sunday dinner. And like I uh, always say, I usually get in the kitchen on Saturdays so that Sunday will be free for me. Okay, let's get started. I've already cleaned my ribs. And if there's excess fat or more uh, fat than you like, just trim it off. Okay, I have some onion powder. Garlic powder. I have some uh, ground allspice, and we're going to be light-handed with this. You're not baking a pie or anything like that, and making dessert, so you have to be careful with this. I have some ground cinnamon, and the same advice for that. Just a little. You know, a little bit goes a long way. <clears throat> have some pepper. some salt and we don't need much and I have some chives whoops come on get on there. I was trying to grind them up a little bit in my hand, but it's not going to make much difference. And then I have some um, pork gravy. We're just going to put it on here and rub it in. This is just going to give us a little thickness and just a little more flavor. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. And we're going to make sure we get all around the sides. We want the flavor to go all the way through the meat. Nice and flavorful. Make sure you massage it, massage your meat. We want to get, make sure that it's on there well. And that you season it enough. So I have some leftover gravy, just a little bit. Okay, but I'm just going to put it in the bottom of this dish that I'm going to uh, cook it in. Just like a thickener, too. Just get it in here. It smells delicious, believe it or not. Like you could just bite it already. And I'm going to cover this with foil. I have my oven heated at 350. And this is going to take a few hours. So put it in and uh, relax after you make this bean and cabbage. The beans and cabbage, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. Okay, I have some bacon. I'm going to put this in the pan. this up. Mm. We cook them up pretty well. And we're going to take some of that oil off because we don't need that much. Just enough to flavor the cabbage. Before we add the cabbage, I have a few red onions.
smells good as always. Mm -hmm. And I have a little bit of cabbage. And this cabbage, um, I froze because I had too much. And that's been about a month or so ago. northern beans and I'm going to keep most of the juice let me see I'll, I'll see how much I need it's got quite a bit in here I poured some to the side just in case the juice in here. dry bay leaves. I'm just going to add maybe not a whole one. Just maybe a little piece of one. And I hope I don't forget to, <laughs> to take it out. I'm going to turn this down really low. We're going to let this simmer. Go in and taste. And see this bay leaf has given me as much flavor as I would like. So make sure you go in and taste and then keep this on a very low simmer cover for about 30 minutes and you should be all done. Well, until the end. In the end, I'm going to add a little more black pepper and a little more butter just for silkiness and flavor. Okie doke. Okay, now I'm going to add a little more butter. More pepper. And some parsley. These are ready. Mm-hmm. Our ribs have been cooking for a little over two hours. In the last hour, I cooked uncovered. But these are ready. Mm-hmm. Let's fix the plate. We have our cornbread. to me.
Mm-hmm. Now we're going to give it a taste. Uh-huh. Piece of that bacon. Mm -hmm. Piece this nice and tender meat. Mm. Okay, thanks for watching and remember to pray. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Tap that bell and subscribe. Share with friends and family and comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and stay blessed. I love you. Yes, you. I really do. Make you some. Later.